Hey everyone, good afternoon. It is me, Maria Fontana, your favorite intuitive business and empowerment coach. So today I'm gonna to cover a topic that comes up over and over again with my clients, my students, and some of my colleagues. And this was also something I struggled with early on in my business many years ago. I wanted to talk about, so are you charging what you're worth? Do you believe in your own value? Do you even know your own value? What are you charging? Are you running your business like a charity? Are you running your business like, oh, let me just help everyone? Are you giving your business the value that your expertise commands? So today I'm gonna to talk to you about what I feel are the three most important things that I've implemented in my own business to growing my online business to six figures. So what it is, is I call it MMO. So it's mindset, messaging, and your offers. Now this could be implemented into any type of business from, you know, my realtors use it to my brick and mortar business use it, chiropractors, coaches, consultants, creatives, psychics, intuitives, Reiki masters, hairdressers, salon owners, spa owners, the structure works for every single kind of business, but especially I am talking to my creatives, coaches, consultants, service providers, and spiritual entrepreneurs, my holistic entrepreneurs who are shifting their business from a brick and mortar business, an offline business, and they're trying to grow their brand online. These are crucial tips. So number one is your mindset. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you believe in yourself? Do you personally believe in your own value? Do you know what your value is? Did you ever sit down and write down all your experience, your education, your expertise, your life experiences, the things you've been through and overcome, the things you know how to do? All of these things add up to what makes you the expert in your field, how you're getting your clients results, whatever that result is in your field. So your mindset about your own worth is probably the most powerful thing in being a successful six-figure spiritual boss. Because if you don't believe you're worth it, you are not going to show up in that energy. You're not going to show up in a way that people are going to believe that you're going to get them the result, either having them find the perfect home, to having the perfect hairstyle, to finding the perfect course, to creating the perfect home for them, to building them what they want, to, to helping them lose weight whatever to getting toned arms whatever your industry is to helping them heal through anxiety so i'm just throwing all different types of results out there and depending on what your business is you and only you can believe in your results and remember why you started so your mindset be mindful what are you telling yourself every day what how are you talking to yourself are you being a hypocrite are you telling people you have a business and you're trying to sell your brand, but you're not believing that you're capable of getting them results? So number one is mindset. Paying very close attention to what we think about ourselves and what we say to ourselves every single day is what's going to be the most important factor in bringing a business successful online. All the other stuff is icing on the cake, guys. If you don't believe your value, you're never going to have the courage to charge your worth for your services, expertise, skills, and gifts. So know your value, own it, and believe it. And it's not for everyone. Your mindset has to be that you believe in yourself of your worth and your value. But remember, your expertise and your value is not for everyone. Let me see a bunch of hearts, guys. I see you on here. Give me some hearts, right? It's not for everyone. And that's okay because the people that value your gifts, talents, and skills, they will happily pay for that. But mindset, number one, you have to believe you're worth it and you have to believe your value and the power of the result and transformation 
the solution you're giving your client, whatever it is that you're getting them to resolve. Number two is your messaging. How are you showing up every day? How are you marketing your business? How are you talking to people? What's your verbiage? What's your language? Are you speaking to the same people that understand your language? Now, if you're on here watching me, obviously I resonate with you. Obviously my messaging's consistent. My look is consistent. What I talk about is consistent. What I say to you is consistent. My energy shows up consistently and my messaging speaks to you. You know that I curse a little bit. You know that I'm very, I talk with my hands. You know this is who I am and that resonates with you. So you show up and you watch me because my messaging is very clear. That's why you're attracted to me. I am not someone, everyone's not attracted to me. And the same thing with you and your business. How you speak to people, how you write content, how you market yourself, how you write things. Your messaging, I speak of energy, spirituality, the law of action, abundance, bullshit, fuck. I speak about everything. I bring it all together in a very unique package. I speak of success. I speak of being broke and then getting to six figures. These are all things that resonate with my audience. There are things that they understand because maybe they've been in my shoes. Maybe you are a single mom. Maybe you've been through a horrible divorce. Maybe you were married to someone who was mentally ill or you've been bankrupt or maybe you lost everything or you came from dysfunction. The list goes on and on, but you resonate with me. I resonate with you. My messaging is always consistent. So number one was mindset. Number two is your messaging, consistent messaging. Number three is your offer. What are you offering people, guys? Everyone forgets about their offer. Now, the offer could be from, you know, anywhere from, again, it depends on your business. Maybe you're a holistic practitioner and you take care, you're in the nutrition end. So your offer could be helping someone in 60 days detox their body with a certain kind of cleanse. I'm just making stuff up as I go intuitively. Or, you know, maybe you're a musician, you're an artist, you're, you specialize in something magical. You can help people. Maybe your mess, your corporate offer is that you offer people healing and change through your music. You offer them stability. Maybe you offer them a relaxing escape from their crazy stressful life through your music therapy. I have clients that have all kinds of beautiful skills, talents, gifts, life experiences. One of my clients, she made a multi, now not a six-figure business, a multi six-figure business coaching parents, specifically young mothers of multiples. Now that's very specific. Her offer is she gives them bi-weekly guidance on how to not lose their mind while they're raising these multiple babies. Could it, it could be twins, triplets. So do you understand? So your offer has to be, what are you bringing to the table and giving me to resolve my problem? I don't want it to be vague. I want to know what your solution is. Like, what are you going to do for me? If I come in and let's say you own a salon and I say to you, I want my hair platinum blonde. Your offer has to be exactly that structure to get me to be platinum blonde and love the color I'm going to have. You're going to give me the solution to my problem with an unbelievable result. So the offer is making sure you can deliver on the result because if you can't deliver on the result, of course, that's bringing in the steps how to get there. You don't have a good offer. It can't be vague, guys. It can't be like, oh, well, I'm going to give you a life of abundance and pleasure. Well, you know, like I said the other day, what does that mean? To me, a life of abundance and pleasure is someone cleaning my house, doing my laundry, walking my dogs, blowing out my hair three times a week. It's vague. But if you said to me, I'm going to have your bank account triple in 60 days, then I know what I have in my bank account. I know I want that to triple. It's very specific. So you have to be specific in your offer and you have to be specific of what results you're going to give to people. Now, don't overcomplicate this, guys. 
Don't overcomplicate it. It's really simple. You need a really solid offer that's going to get your client's results. Again, regardless if you're installing tile in someone's house, if you're, um, you know, a dog walker, if you own a spa, if, you, if you're a chiropractor, if you're a dentist, if you're a Reiki master, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, this covers every single kind of business, but especially my transformational businesses. Remember to make your offer really give people on a platter, hey, here's your solution. I've got the solution for you. In your messaging, they already get that. Your mindset, you know your value, and you stand to that. And in that whole package, it's very important in the mindset factor to keep your boundaries really tight. Now, I'm gonna go over one thing too. I'm all about being loving, kind, giving free value, but you also have to know when enough is enough because not everyone is in the position where they are ready, able, or the right fit for you. So you can't take it personally. If someone's not the right fit for your services, Send them love and light, and you can even refer them to someone else who maybe can help them because that's really good business. So stand in your power and own who you are. Our beliefs of our value, of what we're worth, are drilled in our heads the first seven years of our lives. So dig deep, my friends. Think about your money story. Think about where you came from. Think about how your parents spoke about money, your relatives. You know, these old money doesn't grow on trees. Everything's hard. You got to work hard. And think of these words and how you speak to yourself daily because this is really what makes you believe what your worth is. And if you don't believe what your worth is and you don't stand in your power to what you're worth, you're going to attract the wrong people to your business. They're not going to be the right people who will be happily pay you for your services because your services are amazing and you're going to change their life. I hope this was helpful today. 